Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to show how to quickly set up a module with the random function on Delta Math. So the first thing we do is give our module a title. I'll say, I'll keep it real simple. I'll say adding two numbers. Adding two numbers. And the prompt is what the students will say. We'll say, please add the numbers. Now, normally what you would do, right, when you were doing this on paper or something or writing out, you would write down specific numbers, right? Um, for students to solve and you do this over and over again. But in Delta Math, you can assign variables instead of numbers and, and, and thus create lots of different random examples for them to work on. So we'll call them A and B. Now, Delta Math doesn't know what to do yet. So we're going to say that the variable A is equal to a random number between 1 and 100. So they give us whole numbers between 1 and 100, and the variable B will equal random numbers between 101 and 200. And then the variable C will define that as the solution that we're looking for, which is A plus B. And then in the answers down here, it'll be C. Now, this won't do anything yet. You can see it's all green, so it's all, I think this is all text. So we want to set this up as a variable in LaTeX. So to get the variable in there, I'm going to surround it with plus signs and a quotation mark. And now it knows to pull that variable A and B and let's finish that so for the plus sign and then the quotation mark. But this still won't look great. It won't be in LaTeX. It'll just be in normal text. So we want to add the command for um, using LaTeX here in line with our text. In line, like right with the text, not display mode, which would be a separate line for your, for your um, math. Okay, so now this should, let's see what happens, produce random problems with different numbers for our students to solve, and then we can solve them. This is 202, and it should recognize that that's the answer, and it is. So this really, you know, I, um, I think this changes kind of the whole process for us, because as teachers, we can now quickly generate all types of problems based on the simple function random. And you can do all types of things to it, uh, but this is just the beginning. All right, I hope you enjoy.